So Nicholas Fugue is reporting Princess Beatrix is his your elected American boyfriend speaking and your elected Memphis boyfriend speaking. I would like to be the first global figure connected to the White House to welcome former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton to Memphis, Tennessee this Friday with the unopened letter of the White House still unopened to this day. Since the last visit, of course, of um, First Lady Michelle Obama to Memphis, Tennessee. Now, of course, I'm, this letter has remained unopened to, to uplift the global market here in the great state of Tennessee and, of course, around the world. How about that, Nicholas Fugues fans? So I am the White House Rotus, the White House Republican of the United States, because President Barack Obama loves me promoting diversity with the White House, of course. That's the White House Rotus. It's the White House Republican of the United States. And, of course, we welcome former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton to Memphis, Tennessee, and I want to be the first global official to welcome the former Secretary of State here to Memphis, Tennessee this Friday. Of course, she will be here in St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, the same um, location that um, First Lady Michelle Obama um, visited um, a few weeks ago. And of course, First Lady Michelle Obama is a confirmed fan of me as a CNN icon of Memphis. First Lady Michelle Obama loves the White House role as Republican of the United States. And we love her, too, because she promotes diversity for my generation, despite politics. At any rate, you know, in 2011, the president of the United States came here to Memphis, Tennessee. My idea that, I, of course, I published on Facebook is very simple. What culture do Shelby County educators come from? I published on my Facebook blog, Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader, Shelby County Educators? And it wasn't to be derogatory or anything political. It was, Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader About Your Culture? What country you come from? Where did you descend from, you know, from, you know, global leaders? What DNA do you hold within yourself being a Shelby County educator? And, of course, how can you become more culturally diverse in teaching a diverse group of students? I think it's very important that global, um, you know, that, that we as a global community understand where educators and, of course, their bloodlines come from. I hope my idea is considered. Because it would be very unique that we can put together a global forum or have a global conference, no different from the United Nations here in, in Memphis, Tennessee, of educators. And educators can say, well, I came from Portugal. I came from Spain. I came from the Caribbean. It would be very, very unique on what bloodlines our educators came from. Then we can kind of have like a cultural diverse forum about where Shelby County educators descended from in Memphis, Tennessee. How unique is that? Are you smarter than a fifth grader Shelby County educators regarding your cultural heritage, your DNA, or of course, where did you descend from? I know I descended from the Native Americans. I know I descended from some parts of Europe. But what did these other educators descend from? And can they find their family bloodlines? It would be very, very interesting to see what, um, if, if my idea is considered, um, where did Shelby County educators come from here in Memphis, Tennessee in the 21st century? And how can we um, have a fair, balanced government? Of course, how many educators can we have, you know, that are more culturally diverse, that are culturally compatible to those who do know where they come from regarding their cultural DNA, to those who do not? Once all of this is formed and all these ideas are, you know, you know, once Shelly County educators figure out if they want to consider my idea where they come from, then they can put together a global form, kind of like a global United Nations and say, well, I'm a Shelly County educator and I came from Spain, Portugal. Here's my family tree. And you know what? I'm proud of who I am. And then, you know, it could be a, a, just a cultural, a cultural, a very great cultural experience because we're all cultural people. We all come from different bloodlines, different family trees. I think it will be creative. I think it will make um, Shelby County Schools a more effective system. And then we can, you know, expand on this idea. Educators can have their own school boards. We can, you know, move the world with ideas like Nicholas Fugues. But it starts with the idea. First, we need to find out what culture. My first objective and my first idea is for Shelby County educators to really, you know, consider this idea of what culture you come from. Once you find out your bloodline, your DNA, then you can move forward with presenting it to the world. Then maybe you can have a global form, like a global United Nations. You know, it can be done at school. You know, things can be done simple. First of all, find out what DNA you come from, what country you came from. Once, you know, all of these ideas, you know, once you find your family tree and what country and nation you come from, 
then you can then, then begin to you know form a club. Let's say we let's say you came from Portugal, and then another teacher said, "Oh, well, I came from Africa." Once you find out what DNA or what family you came from, you then can form a club and say, "These are a group of teachers who know that they came from Africa, Portugal," and then you have a group that does not know. Once you have the group that does know, it can be like a PTA board, and you know you can impact kids that have um, DNA from Portugal or Spain because it's all about the DNA and then these educators can help other students who know where they come from because it's all about hereditary bloodline. At any rate, Nicholas Fugues has great ideas. I hope that this idea will be considered because at times, you know, Shelby County Schools can be a little snobbish to the Obama administration, but always contact Nicholas Fugues if you want more information regarding my ideas and you can always contact the White House. Nicholas Fugues reporting, Princess Beatrix, this is your elected American boyfriend speaking, and this idea will be given credit to President Barack Obama, who visited here a few years ago. So this is your idea, President Obama, giving credit to you. Nicholas Fugues reporting, we're all winners. Princess Beatrix, this is your elected Memphis boyfriend speaking, and your elected American boyfriend speaking. We love you, original Memphis. Be a be a Princess Beatrix of York. Good night, everyone. So Nicholas Pagase reporting, Princess Beatrix is this your elected American boyfriend speaking and your elected Memphis boyfriend speaking. The U.S. First Lady of the United States, First Lady Michelle Obama is of course a fan of me as a CNN icon of Memphis. Have a great idea today, Miss Obama, that I will share with the international community this week. Nicholas Pagase reporting. Nicholas Pagase reporting, also known as the governor for the United States Congress 2014, has just picked up my petition for the United States Congress 2014 for scholarship purposes. Now, I'm not, you know, formally announcing a candidacy, but I am interested in the process and inspire my generation to public service. And so Nicholas Pagase reporting, yes, Republicans can elect Nicholas Pagase for the United States Congress. 2014, and a corporate thanks to Catholic nobility drafting Nicholas Pagese for the United States Congress, the governor, CNN icon of Memphis. We can't make a difference in our global community. A corporate thanks to the Shelby County Election Commission. Nicholas Pagese reporting. So Nicholas Pagese reporting, Princess Beatrix, this is your elected American boyfriend speaking and your elected Memphis boyfriend speaking. Um, today I'm honored to announce that I am the head of government regarding Republicans for President Barack Obama. This was the same organization that many of the first families of the United States stood behind as Republicans regarding um, President Barack Obama when he was running for president in 2008. As the White House Republican of the United States, I am the official head of government regarding uh, Republicans for Obama. Of course, that is my title because I do work with the White House as the White House Republican of the United States. And today, I, of course, as always, I have more influence than Republicans for President Barack Obama. Nicholas Pagis, one of the most influential people in the social media world. Nicholas Pagis reporting, CNN icon of Memphis, and of course, Princess Beatrix, this is your elected American boyfriend speaking. I love your original Memphis, Bia Bia, Princess Beatrix of York. Thanks. Nicholas Pagese here reporting, and Air Force, Air Force One has landed here in Memphis, Tennessee. Welcome President Barack Obama. So Nicholas Pagis reporting, Princess Beatrix, this is your elected American boyfriend speaking and your elected Memphis boyfriend speaking as promoted on Facebook. Can you believe Nicholas Pagis fans? I'm just one clout score away from Congressman Steve Cohen and he has actually met President Barack Obama. In fact, I was a right-in Republican candidate in Tennessee's 8th Congressional District endorsed by the President and Mrs. Obama. Today I checked my clout score. I'm just one clout score away from Congressman Steve Cohen. 
So Nicholas Pegues reporting a very influential person around the world. And of course, Princess Beatrix, this is your elected Memphis boyfriend speaking. We love your original Memphis, Bia Bia, Princess Beatrix of York. Nicholas Pegues reporting. So Nicholas Pegues reporting, also known as the governor of the United States Congress 2014, um, regarding me as a right-in Republican candidate in Tennessee's 8th Congressional District. And of course, I am Princess Beatrix's elected Memphis boyfriend, has almost as much clout as Steve Cohen, the current congressman of Tennessee's 9th Congressional District. But of course, Nicholas Pegues is an international celebrity, and he has as much clout almost just one point away from Congressman Steve Cohen. I would like to wish a magical week to everyone around the world from the great state of Tennessee. And of course, Princess Beatrix is your elected American boyfriend speaking and from the great state of Tennessee. Nicholas Piggy is quite influential here in the great state of Tennessee as a descendant of Victorian Village, Collins Chapel, Historic District. Nicholas Piggy reporting. Nicholas Piggy reporting, senior hour for the missus, also known as the governor, documented First Lady Michelle Obama arriving here to the elementary school. Nicholas Pegues reporting, also known as the governor, seen in our report on this. Fortunately, I was supposed to be on the inside, but right now I'm on the outside. Because I'm a little few minutes late. It's still pretty cool. Regarding her Let's Move campaign. of the United States. <coughs> and this was a private event, an invitation only event, that I unfortunately missed. Nicholas Pegues reporting, also known as the governor. So Nicholas Pegues reporting, um, this is the White House Road is speaking, the White House Republican of the United States, and of course Princess Beatrix is your elected American boyfriend speaking, and your elected Memphis boyfriend speaking has as much influence as the Tennessee Republican Party official Twitter account. Now, of course, this is the only social media site of the Republican Party on Twitter, and Nicholas Pegues influences the world more than the Tennessee Republican Party. So Nicholas Pegues, a very influential person, is the White House Rotus, the White House Republican of the United States. Nicholas Pegues governs, of course, Republican politics here in the great state of Tennessee in conjunction with Tennessee Governor Bill Haslam for diversity purposes, in conjunction with the support of former President George W. Bush and George H. W. Bush. Nicholas Pegues reporting. Nicholas Pegues reporting. Prince Harry here in Memphis, Tennessee, and of course, Princess Beatrix, I am your elected American boyfriend, promoted on Facebook. Nicholas Pegues reporter. Here he comes. Right behind him, Nicholas Reese reporting. Seen in Icon of Memphis. There he is. Nicholas Reese reporting. Princess Beatrix is here. She elected American boyfriend. Doctor he is. It was Prince Harry. Awesome, awesome. Nicholas McGee's reporting. All right. And here we are in Memphis, Tennessee. Nicholas McGee's reporting. Documenting Prince William and Prince Harry on Nicholas McGee's. God save the Queen. And Princess Beatrix, I am your elected American boyfriend. Only on Nicholas McGee's. CNN Icon of Memphis. Excuse me.